D.L. Moody said, I'd rather teach one person to pray than 10 people to preach. In the year 1990, I laid before the Lord this request for that year. Lord, how could I be used of you to raise up prayer among your people? In large measure, the things that God showed me in, in response to that prayer were things I had to unlearn about prayer. You see, prayer is helplessness plus faith. You see, it's God wants to meet you in your times of fear, your times of anxiety, your times of anger, your times of temptation, your times that you feel very low, and so that you can turn those times into victorious intercession. Prayer is not another thing to put on your to-do list. In fact, we don't want another thing added to our busy lives. We almost resent it. But prayer is a gift that God wants to give you. You know, it so helped me to realize that God will never give me so much to do that I won't have time to invest with Him. I can give myself too much to do. I can allow other people to give myself too much to do. But God will not. Prayer is a gift. See, you labor more effectively when the burden of that task is, is laid on God's shoulders. You labor more effectively when you're really doing the things He's called you to do and are delivered from those things that are truly not His agenda. Prayer is a great gift. This book is designed to aid you into prayer, experiencing prayer not only as a discipline, but also as a delight. You can get addicted to the joy of prayer. My deep earnest prayer is that God would meet you in your most persistent temptations, that He would meet you in your greatest struggles, and out of that weakness you would cry out to Him and you would experience Him. May that be your portion and may your influence be greatly felt and may your prayer life be revived and may the prayer life of our church be revived.